Hello friends, welcome to my channel. If you are looking for tips and insights to automate manual tasks, help your decision making, or improve your productivity, you are in the right channel. In this tutorial, I will share with you a method to automate graphic design using Python. Today's video is following an article I published in my blog a few weeks ago. I have added the link in the description. In this article, I took the example of the design design of labels used for the signature of storage location in a warehouse. This is coming from an actual project I conducted a few years ago. I, I had to design signature and labels for the implementation of a new warehouse for a furniture retailer. Today, we'll see how we can use Python to fully automate this process. First, let's introduce the context of warehousing operations. You are the implementation manager in the logistic department of a fashion retailer. Your team is in charge of setting up equipment and processes for new warehouse openings. These operations follow the same overall process. The warehouse is receiving orders via ERP. These orders are processed by the admin team. Then, warehouse operators go to the racks to pick items for preparing orders. And after preparation, items are packed in parcels for shipments. To help operators find the right locations, you need to put signage and labeling in the racks with barcodes for RF guns and visual coding to provide enough information to the operator. Items are stored in racks. On the ground level, you have the picking locations where preparation team take the items to prepare orders. And on upper level, you have the storage location that are used to replenish ground locations. On each location, like the picture below, you have the a label to get information about the product stored in a location. In a large warehouse, you may have several thousand labels. Let's explore how we can use Python to automatically generate these labels from an Excel file using item information. The final result will look like this. A set of labels with key information like location number, barcode that can be read by RF guns, and additional information like product type, dangerous goods, or preparation methods. Do you need to take the item by pieces or by full cartons? The idea is to design a Python script that will take the information from an Excel file and automatically generate these labels. Let's have a look at the label more closely. We have six items linked with six parameters associated with the SKU stored in the location or the location itself. A colored arrow to locate the item. The item can be below or above the label, and the color is used as a trick to avoid picking errors. Basically, the voice picking system, which is an automated system that will tell the operator to go to the location, can ask the operator to come from the column randomly to make sure that he's in the right location. A barcode with the SKU number, so when the operator will use the RF gun, the system will tell him information about the system the item stored in the location and finally you have three icons that provide information like the item category the handling unit for picking do you take the item by box or by full by pieces and special information like dangerous goods and the location number with the alien number the cell number and the level the idea basically is to automate the process of generating these labels before starting to code, let's work on the design of the label. We have six items that we need to put on this label. Let's first fix the Y and X axis with an origin at the top left. I fixed the origin there because the Python library that we are going to use is also doing the same. We have six items to put. And we need to generate their coordinates using three parameters on the X axis, X0, X1, X2 and two parameters on the y-axis, y0 and y1. Basically, to find this parameter, you use the label size and the icon size, and you find the right mix to, get, to have a kind of a good aesthetics and well readability. That's your job, basically. Then, you need to import the different icons. These are PNG files. First, the color arrows, you can store them in the sep in a dedicated folder and you have the information icons. Basically here, I store them in three different folders depending on the category of icons you have. 
You need to download them in advance and store them in local folders. Now that we know what to do, let's automate it using Python. So the workflow will be like this one. First, start to prepare an Excel file with all the locations included item information to generate the labels. Then your Python script will import this file and generate barcodes from the SKU number, location number from the Excel file, and visuals using the icons. And then you just have to run a loop through all the location and you have your labels generated. Finally, you can generate 10, 100, or 1000 labels automatically and export them in PNG, PDF, or any format you want for printing. Let's now have a look at the code. It basically starts with the source data. You can find the information here, and you will see that this information will be directly connected to the file name and folder names that we will use to import the visuals. Now we can initiate the loop through all the lines to generate a label per SKU. Looking at the code itself, we start by importing libraries. So we import Python to generate the labels, barcodes to generate the barcodes, and Panda to manipulate the Excel file. Then you import your file, and you can start then to generate your different labels using this loop. At the end, you have this white rectangle. Right so in the loop, we start by generating a, this right rectangle and we add a border of a thickness of one in black. Then you continue your loop by adding items. So you add the colored arrow, you select the type from the column arrow, you resize it and you paste it using the coordinate minus 40 and zero. And then you add the first icon, which is the logistic handling unit icon. You convert it in RGBA to keep the transparency of your PNG icon, and then you resize it and you paste it in the right coordinate. So the final result looks like this one. Then you do the same for the two other icons and your label starts uh, to look like something, right? Next step is adding the barcode. So you will use the Python library barcode to generate a barcode using the SKU code. So you create a function that takes this code and generate a barcode that is saved locally using a PNG file. And the rest of the code will import it, resize it, and put it in the right coordinate. And finally, you just have to add a text zone with your location number. You can create a draw object where we, you will add the text, and the text will be basically in the column location. Et voilà, your label is done. To conclude, you can generate thousand labels like this with just one click. You can find the detailed explanation in the article in the description. I hope this recipe for graphic design automation gave you insights to automate similar tasks and overall manual work in your personal and professional projects. If you have any questions, feel free to share them in the comment section.